for a simply supported beam subjected to a point load in the middle that has a cross section with the given dimensions, what would the maximum shearing stress be and where would it be located? This is the first example for the shearing stress main video, so if you haven't watched that one yet, follow the link in the description below before watching this. This is a textbook problem that asks for the shearing stress at point A and B, but calculating the shearing stress there is more of a practice exercise rather than having an actual utility for finding a mode of failure, so we'll not do that here. We know that for our shearing stress expression, the shearing force V and the second moment of area I will not change depending on where we're calculating the shearing stress. The way the maximum shearing stress will reach a maximum is for low values of T and the highest value of Q. From a free body diagram, we know that the shear force V is equal to 90 kN. For the second moment of area I, we need to find the neutral axis and using the parallel axis theorem and knowing that the distance from the neutral axis to the centroid of the green rectangle is 25 and that the distance from the neutral axis to the centroid of the yellow rectangles is minus 25, we find our second moment of area. The maximum value of Q will occur when we're calculating the shearing stress at the neutral axis. And since T at that point has the lowest value we'll find for any Y value, we know that the maximum shearing stress will occur at the neutral axis. We can find Q for one or the two legs. The distance from the neutral axis to the centroid of the shaded area would be half of 65 and only the area would double if we were considering the two legs. The thickness T would be 20 if we're considering only one leg and 40 if we're considering the two legs. So the term Q over T is the same if we're considering only one or two legs, which makes sense since the stress is defined as the load per unit area. Substituting the values, we find the maximum shearing stress, which happens at the neutral axis of the beam. For a second example video, make sure to check out the link in the description below. Thanks for watching.